After months of planning and construction, Kris Jenner unveiled her current $20 million home in Hidden Hills, which is located next to her daughter Chloe's mansion that's still being built. Chris had her house reveal coinciding with her 66th birthday in November 2022 and showed off the glamorous estate on their show, The Kardashians. From the series, we caught glimpses of the stylish piano room and bar, the screening room, the kitchen, and much more. And Chris's new house is as chic as you'd expect. Of course, this means that the momager had to let her former crib in the same neighborhood go, and in 2020, Chris sold it for $15 million in an all cash deal. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Near the end of 2022, in an episode of The Kardashians, the momager of six decided to show off her highly anticipated and newly built mansion in the family's favorite neighborhood of Hidden Hills. And it's as chic as can be. While the home was formerly said to be move-in ready, Chris wanted it perfect for her and spent months on constructing and designing the interior. The mansion is located in an exclusive gated section of Hidden Hills, California on Ashley Ridge, a pocket which is considered to be the most desirable by many. Not to mention, her daughter Chloe purchased up the estate right next door, which was built at the same time. Not only will Chris be right next door to her daughter, some other high profile neighbors include the likes of Lori Lawlin, DeMar DeRozan, and more. This sprawling estate costs Chris $20 million and it's supposedly slightly larger and of course newer than her last property. On the Kardashians, she was throwing a housewarming party, which coincided with her 66th birthday in November 2022, and she invited her friends and family to see her stylish space. Her daughters, Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, and Kourtney Kardashian were all there, along with some of Chris's closest friends like Faye Resnick and Ellen DeGeneres. The construction of Chris and Chloe's mega mansions were documented during the building process with Chris's abode. We can see that hers is made of dark gray brickwork just ahead of Chloe's in the building process. Chris's new home has sprawling lawns and a grassy yard with a pool along with mature trees and other plants. Elsewhere, there's solar paneling. While Chris revealed some of her home interiors on the show, we can also see how the new builds look and get a better idea of those new ones in the neighborhood. While the Ashley Ridge mansions were already gorgeous, many were ripped down to make way for the new builds. They're apparently even more impressive. Chris's new residence was built in 2020 by the same local developer as her daughter Chloe's home, and it packs in over 10,000 square feet of living space, sitting on 1.5 acres of land. Both Chris and Chloe's massive new homes were built in the trendy modern farmhouse style, and the two properties were formerly part of one single large estate that rambled over three acres of land. This mega home was once about 20,000 square feet. Not to mention, Britney Spears even leased this former mansion in the past. The land was previously owned by construction mogul Ron Tudor, and the former mansion was eventually torn down, leaving the property uninhabited for years until Chris and Chloe got their hands on it and started to build their dream mansions. On the Kardashians, Chris shows her guest rooms like the screening room, the piano room, and bar, and her daughter Courtney stated she loves that every room is infused with her personality. Chris worked with designers Kathleen and Tommy Clements and Waldo Fernandez to make her home vision come to life. And she had worked with them before on the interiors of her home, which she lived in prior to this. We could see that Chris's new mansion has a mostly neutral palette with glamorous details throughout and plenty of open spaces. One living room has a sparkly bar on one wall full of crystal and another wall that's made up of glass sliding doors opening up to the patio. She has a large formal dining room with a long table to entertain, big enough to seat all of her party guests. And this was where Chris prepared a toast on the episode. Then her kitchen has light colored wood with black countertops, as well as a large center island with snack bar seating. The most interesting feature here has gotta be the color coded fridge to hold various foods. Chris's statement making refrigerator up the organization game to a new level as it's matte black, massive and offers three doors. The middle section is glass and shows it's stocked up with green colored produce, such as asparagus, artichokes, herbs, lettuce, avocados, broccoli, cucumber, 
cucumbers and limes. So we can imagine the other sides of the fridge would hold foods in another color and style. Another common living area in Chris's home featured a wall-mounted TV, fireplace, and plenty of space to gather while her screening room is spacious, plush, and dark. On the show, Chris also gives a peek at her fully equipped home gym. And then she shows her friend Faye her room that's fully dedicated to her designer dishware which she collects. In March 2022, her daughter Courtney's website Poosh gave the first look at Chris's quote-unquote dish room, which is essentially a walk-in closet stacked with pristine, well-lit shelves displaying fine china. There are no less than six sets from Hermes, one Gucci herbarium set in green, a custom set with depictions of the Kardashian Jenners on it, an entire set of Royal Copenhagen's Flora Danica porcelain pieces, which are handmade and painted to order. No two Flora Danica pieces are identical, and just to give you an idea of what these plates are worth, a full set sold for over $62,000 in April 2019. In Chris's well-stocked bar, she also has the most stylish glassware, offering plenty of silver cocktail shakers and what might be Williams Sonoma martini glasses. The mirrored cabinet here is also stocked with a full set of Baccarat crystals, which Chris had said on Instagram in 2018, everything tastes better in Baccarat. In her living room, Chris also has two small drink tables to set her martinis down on after a long day. And while it might not sound like much, it's pretty luxurious to have furnishings that only serve a small purpose such as that. While Chris's living room has modern touches, such as the marble fireplace and sleek sofa, there are softer looking and more traditional details too, such as a white armchair with ruffled skirt, which adds sophistication. Since Chris has settled into that new and stunning Hidden Hills retreat in summer 2020, the momager sold her main residence in the same star-studded neighborhood for exactly 50 million dollars in an off-market all-cash deal. Chris bought the modern farmhouse style mansion about three years prior for just under 10 million dollars and hired the acclaimed designers Tommy and Kathy Clements along with Waldo Fernandez to give the home a sophisticated makeover. After this her glamorous space was published in Architectural Digest when Chris gave them a full in-depth tour. Looking at photos of the mansion now, it seems that Chris has somehow made the place look even nicer, and she likely added some upgrades too. Inside, the estate spans 9,459 square feet with six beds, eight baths, rich hardwood flooring, and a lot of fresh white walls. This home boasted a glass front door that swung open into a large foyer attached to the formal living and dining rooms. The former with a fireplace in the dining room with custom furniture and a vintage credenza that her friend Ellen DeGeneres used to own. Chris's chic chef's kitchen had Italian marble and top of the line appliances and this space opens to the family room that she had outfitted with a rare sheep sculpture while living here. Her former master suite was also downstairs located in its own spacious and secluded wing with a walk-in closet and massive bathroom decked out in a marble overload. On the upper level of the home there was a second family room with wet bar, the guest suites and a home gym. Outside property boasted a swimming pool, outdoor kitchen with fire pit and rolling lawns surrounding it all. We'll likely get more glimpses at Kris Jenner's current Hidden Hills home in the future. For now, we definitely have an idea of the stylish touches that were created throughout. And we can see that her new space is even more impressive than her former home. Considering the property was $20 million, I sure hope that it would be everything that Kris dreamed of and more. So while that's gonna wrap up today's house tour, before we head out, answer this question for me. If you had as much money to spend as Kris Jenner does, would you ever invest in a dish collection as expensive as hers? Or would you prefer to collect something completely different? Let me know what you'd most like to collect down in the comment section, as well as what you thought of Kris's homes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all on the next tour. Bye.